I'm bringing you my top five summer vacation hotspots. So get your swimsuits and sunblock ready, cause we're hitting the beach. I do my research to discover the best of the best, so that you don't have to. There's a lot to do here in Southern California, and luckily you don't have to break the bank to have fun. There's a free concert every Thursday night here on the Santa Monica Pier. Tonight's reggae night, and they're setting up, so in just a few hours, this whole area will be jamming. While this event was about stars and styles, it was also for a greater cause. At the end of the night, these two bags will be auctioned off to help in the fight against AIDS. I love sushi, but with so many choices here on the West Coast, I had to ask the locals to see what they recommended. And they said, Midami. Let's see how it is. Coming in at number five, it's the historical Fountain Blue Resort in Miami Beach, Florida. If you thought this hotspot was a star magnet before, you should see it now after its multi-million dollar facelift. With fun rides, games, and that delicious carnival food we all love, the Santa Monica Pier is guaranteed to bring out the kid in all of us. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm ready for some fun. Let's go. I'm here with a group of beautiful ladies from Los Angeles, and can you tell me what makes this pier so special? What do you like the best? Ocean views. How about you? What's your favorite thing? I like the rides and the games. <laughs> These ladies are having way too much fun for their own good, and I think I'm gonna join them. Thanks for watching my top five countdown of the best beaches in the U.S. For flavor of the week, I'm Anna Maria. And it's getting pretty hot out here, so I'm about to go put on my bikini and take a dip in the ocean. See you all next week. Yeah, man, we'll do it again. Let's do it, let's do it.